Coming your way next, a few important things to know about the 2019 Toyota Corolla hatchback. This is the short list. It may have debuted but a few short weeks ago at the New York Auto Show, but the Toyota Corolla hatchback is set to go on sale sooner than later. And I've been testing it around San Diego, California here all day. And here's what's up with this fresh-faced five-door. And point number nine is size. This hatchback has grown both up and out more sophisticated than the outgoing Corolla IM and slightly larger thanks to a brand new platform. The car is about 1.2 inches wider and 1.5 and inches longer. Both front and rear its track has increased and the wheelbase has been lengthened. How about that? Likely thanks to TNGA, that's the Toyota new global architecture which it shares with models like the Camry and Prius, this new Corolla hatchback offers big car refinement. And what I mean by that is roadway imperfections are absorbed and digested before any real harshness can make its way into the cabin. And this vehicle always feels very sturdy with no cheapness or rattles to detract from the drive and plant it as well. Though unfortunately that doesn't apply to the steering, which frankly could be a lot livelier. It's too light and isolated for my taste and rival models like the Mazda 3, Honda Civic, and even Ford Focus, which is frankly ancient at this point, all seem to provide a much livelier, more engaging driving experience. Point seven. The new Corolla hatch is dressed in tastefully aggressive styling. There's an elegance to its design that's been lacking in other recent Toyotas. And for once, the brand's big honk and grill motif doesn't seem grossly out of proportion. Its triple element headlamps look great, as does the expressively sculpted rear. But what impressed me even more is this car's interior. The dashboard is elegantly simple with strong horizontal cues. The abundance of soft plastics have luxury car squish and are attractively textured. The rear seat is also unexpectedly spacious, able to accommodate a pair of six-footers without cramping. If this car's interior falls short in any area, it seems to be practicality. Lacking an official figure, the cargo area seems pretty tight. Short and shallow, there's just not much real estate here. But moving on, let's talk a little bit about how this thing drives. The only engine offered in the 2019 Corolla hatchback, for now at least, is a two-liter naturally aspirated four-cylinder. It's rated at 168 horsepower and 151 foot-pounds of torque, par for the compact car class these days. Now, it's responsive enough, even if it does feel a bit gritty at higher RPM, though never does it make this vehicle feel fast. Some extra giddy-up would definitely be appreciated. Satiating today's tech-hungry drivers, this new Corolla offers abundant features. For starters, whether you get a base SE model or the better equipped XSE, an 8-inch touchscreen is standard, though two different infotainment systems are available, Entune 3.0 Audio and Entune 3.0 Audio Plus. Apple CarPlay and Amazon Alexa integration is baked right in like chopped filberts in a brownie. Now, an upscale JBL audio system, automatic climate control, and Qi wireless charging are all optional. LED head, tail, and backup lights are standard. Now, Toyota is offering two, count them up, two different transmissions in this car, including a CVT and a six-speed manual. But let's get started with the auto box because, frankly, that's the one you all are going to buy. Judging eyes right now. Anyway, unlike rival CVTs, it features a fixed first gear, which supposedly helps improve launch performance and the overall feel of this transmission. Once the car is moving, the pulleys and belts take over per usual. Additionally, under heavy acceleration, this transmission will mimic traditional gear changes to help prevent the engine from droning. Next up, the so-called intelligent manual transmission. It's got a few tricks up its sleeve. Aside from automatic rev matching for perfect downshifts, it can also prevent stalling, which is perfect for novice drivers. And beyond that, it will vary engine RPM between gear changes to really smooth things out. Safety first, or in this case, second, whatever, close enough. 
Every 2019 Corolla hatchback comes with TSS 2.0, the company's latest range of advanced driver assistance tech. This includes the usual goodies like adaptive cruise control and automatic high beams, but the car also features a few unexpected amenities like road sign recognition and lane tracing assist, which keeps it centered between road lines. Beyond that, this five-door Corolla also features pedestrian detection and can even recognize cyclists. Cyclists! It must have some sort of spandex detector, though I'm not exactly sure how it works. Lastly, the 2019 Toyota Corolla is launching relatively soon. Production gets underway in June, with an on-sale date the very next month. So if you're interested, you needn't wait long. Even though it's affordable, efficient, and more reliable than SoCal weather, I find the current Corolla sedan so dreary. Basically, if you need a car, it is one, and that's it. But overall, I've been pleasantly surprised by this hatchback model. It's roomy, decent to drive, and offers tons of great features. And to me, it's really the first Corolla worth owning in a very long time. Well, that does it for another episode of The Shortlist. Hope you learned everything you need to know about the new Toyota Corolla hatchback. But before you close this browser tab, make sure you subscribe to the autoguide.com YouTube channel. Also, while you're doing the socials, give us, a, give us a like on Instagram and make sure to, I think, hashtag us on Facebook. That'd be great.